Hi Kendria, it's Lindsay. This is so fun. I'm so glad that you signed up to the critique. It's going to be fun. Um, it's a small class this time, so I'm glad. It will give me a chance to um, like really, you know, get in depth a bit more, um, which I don't, I can't normally do because the classes are usually quite full. So this will be great. Um, okay, so um, just on your question about um, the ISO and getting too much noise, yes, um, it, it is probably because you don't have a full, a full frame sensor. Um, saying that, I, I have other friends who don't have a full frame sensor, but depending on the camera, um, you know, bumping up the noise with theirs isn't too bad. Um, but, um, you know, your camera is, like you said, it's kind of a startup camera, so yeah, the ISO isn't something that they, like, considered in, in those ranges of cameras, um, you know, because they're, they're working with maybe amateurs, and you're not, you know, you've been doing this, so, um, it's, it's like, you, you've kind of surpassed its use, um, so, you know, I have the Nikon, um, D800, and, like, I can push the ISO up really, really high without even, like, getting a touch of grain. And um, that's a full-frame sensor. And so, yeah, it does make a big difference. And if you're interested in just doing indoor stuff, um, then, you, or, or at least you will be, like you said, you want to be shooting your kids. So, um, yeah, it's probably worth the investment. Um but I think also the D600, and I can't remember if that's a full frame sensor or not, but I've heard that that one's really great as well. Um, and it's, you know, maybe a little, not quite as top of the line as the D D800, but, um, but, you know, still could be used for what you're after. So, um, uh, and so, okay. And then you said you shoot in raw and JPEG just because that's what you were told to do. Um, if you, if you're not... I mean, raw images are basically like the full extent that your camera can record of that image. Um, it's, it's what they say has a lossless quality. So um, everything in, in the shot that can be saved and, and used, I mean, I'm, I'm using this kind of all loosely, it, it's just like the pinnacle of your images. Um, you know, if you're, if you're editing in raw, then yeah, it's good for you to shoot raw. Um, but it, it's not, it's not totally, um, it's not totally necessary, I guess, depending on what you're using it for and why. Um, raw is the best because it's the, it's the largest that you can have your image. Um, you know, it's, if you're going to blow up your images really big, then, um, that it also helps with that. So yeah, um, it's, it's something to think about, I guess, in why, why you're shooting raw. Um, so anyway, that all said, let's go ahead and look at your images. And I totally love this. I love this whole shot. I can't get over how blue her eyes are, Kendria. They are so cute and she's so cute. Um, Anyway, this is a great shot, and I really, really love this. Um, I'm going to get a little nitpicky because that's the whole idea of this workshop. So I'm, I'm going to tell you just a little, a couple of things that can be different to make your images more dynamic um, versus like a snapshot. Now, you can see her foot here, and you can see her foot here. And what, you know, what, like, as, as we try to do with professional photography is try to... Um, not either not cut limbs off where you can't see where they're at, if that makes sense. Um, there's like certain limb cropping that is better than others, I guess, that is, that is more right than others. Um, so for example, since she's moving her legs around and you probably couldn't do anything about stopping that, um, because this shot had, had this not been here. And in fact, this one's not so much bothersome as this one is right here because it's right here in front of it's London, right? It's right here in front of her. And, and so, um, it's just a little bit distract, distracting. So, um, and, and the whole thing you want is to, um, remove distracting elements. So 
I would have either found a way to keep her legs down and taken the shot like that, or I would have I would have zoomed out. Now I know you were with the 50 millimeter and you can only stand so far when you're when they're on the bed and you're shooting at a bird's eye view. Um, but if you had like a different lens, for example, and you and you shot her and like you got the whole of them so that you got all of her legs in it, it would have been a better shot. It would have been a um, one that was a bit more um, a bit more dynamic, really. Or like I said, these were out of the way and this was all you were getting right here. Um, that said, it's still darling. It's still totally cute. And it's like you said, you're capturing them on, on mama's bed and that's the thing they do in the day. And that's so cute, cute and sweet. Um, I think the light is still really good. I saw, you know, you were kind of worried about that and the focus is still really good. Um, it, and it, it's capturing what's going on. If I were to, if this were to have been a shot I was taken, I probably would have lightened this area up a bit. Um, only because you've got a catch light in this eye and then one here and it makes the shades of her eyes look different. Now, you don't want to like overdo it because it's obvious that the light source is coming from here. So, um, and you don't want to ruin the shadow. It, it, won't, it won't look right. So, um, I would just lighten it up a touch just so that this eye kind of goes with this eye. Either that or I would have darkened this one a little bit more um, to keep those symmetrical, if that makes sense. Um, but again... A really sweet shot. Still really, really like it. Um, those are just a couple of tips for maybe, you know, the next time. Okay, so next shot. I love this. Um, so cute. I love the bunting in the back. Um, I, I don't have anything too much bad to say about here at all. Um, and when I say bad, I mean just to enhance. <laughs> um... Uh, just this, this is me nitpicky also, uh, just to slightly rotate this image. Um, and if you don't know how to use that, and, I, and if I sound like I'm being patronizing, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I don't know um, how much you know or, or, or not know. So, um, but you can do an arbitrary rotate if you go up into your, um, you know, you go into Photoshop. Oh, I don't have an image up, so I can't really do it. Um, but if you go into um, where you can rotate your image and you go to an arbitrary crop and you can pick the gradient at which you want to rotate the image either counterclockwise or clockwise um, just to get this so this is like a hor perfectly horizontal um, because it's a, little, it's a little bit funky and that's only because you've got the bunting going on up here so we just want that to be like nice and straight across. Um, but it's darling. It's really, really cute, and it's a great little Easter shot, so um, I think it's sweet. And I love the lighting with it. I love the, um, I even love the shadow through it. Really, really good. And I love this. This is probably my favorite shot of the three. Um, and I really love it because she's, the lighting is really good. Really, really good here. You can see a slight bit of darkening on this side, again, because your light source is from over here, but but it's still, it's still fairly even. Um, and that's what you're aiming for. Um, and um, I like how sharp everything is here. Um, really, really cute. Really, really good job. Um, and then I'm not, like, like, I'm not sure exactly what you mean when you say you have a hard time trying to soften this up. Um, just let me know what you mean, whether, like, softening up with Photoshop or, you know, softening up her skin or... You know, you, you want more her face to be in focus and have a little bit more depth of field. Um, let me know on that so that I can, I can help you figure out, you know, what to do as far as that's concerned. I mean, I really like the shot. I think it's really sweet. Um, so, fabulous week this week, Kendria. Let me know if I can answer any questions. And uh, we will um, chat soon. Thanks so much. Bye.